the Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripod. Is it really worth the investment? Let's find out. So today we will be unboxing the Manfrotto Pixie Mini and I hope to give you the right uh, information for you to decide whether this tripod is for you or not. The product comes in this plastic enclosure that will keep the tripod protected during shipping. On the back we have the information about the tripod and the features. The top rotates when pressing it. You have this secure lock and release button when trying to maneuver with the tripod. On the front nothing that is special, just a regular plastic packaging that will keep your product well protected during shipping. So do not worry about any damage. Now let's take the product out of the packaging. You won't need any scissors in order to take the tripod out of the packaging. Inside we have this booklet that or cardboard that will show you the features of the tripod and how to use it. Nothing uh, too special, it's not rocket science, you just have uh, some, some guidance in order to be able to use the tripod. Putting this that aside, let's get into the tripod. Again, very well protected. Do not worry about this being damaged during shipping. The tripod itself feels really good. I will say that uh, this took me by surprise. Is I didn't expect uh, this much quality, especially at its price point. I wasn't expecting this uh, tripod to have uh, this build quality. Nothing uh, cracks, everything is very well sturdy. You can see how the tripod itself stands on table. It is not flimsy whatsoever. Uh, I mean, at this price point, uh, it, it gets me uh, thinking about the Joby. Why does it have to be that expensive when this quality can be achieved uh, at half its price? Getting a little bit out of topic, but it's just a thought uh, that just crossed my mind at this moment. The tripod doesn't feel flimsy whatsoever. Everything moves perfectly. The quick release button works really, really well. It releases the ball head and keeps it really well locked when not pressing it. This strap stays really well placed when positioning it. Uh, the ball head again moves according uh, to your needs. Let's check the movement a little bit. You can see that it moves really well, not hard whatsoever. On the bottom you have the uh, a set of screws that uh, keeps the mounts together just some stickers with patent pending on it i guess that they have some kind of technology incorporated that they want to keep to themselves on the bottom you have these rubber index that will keep your surface uh, well protected uh, so the strap won't scratch any surface on the top of the ball head you have this rubber finish that will protect your device from getting scratched when using this tripod. Uh, I cannot stress enough the quality of these legs. Your camera won't go anywhere when well placed on the top of the tripod. The minimalistic look uh, adds to the functionality of the tripod. It's a simple release button that will release the ball head with some simple functionality that will give you that productivity boost when let's say uh, trying to adjust your camera on the easy way when for example using it as a tripod and transforming it into a selfie stick as mentioned really sturdy when put on table you can see that when adding some pressure it won't bend or show any transformation whatsoever right here we have a sony alpha 6000 let's put on the tripod and you can see how long it takes to install the camera on the tripod as you can see, really easy to put on your camera and you can straight use it as a tripod or as a selfie stick. Uh, so is how it looks when releasing the button. You can see how the camera stands in place. You just have to push and adjust the camera when needed. This is the very first time that I use such mechanism on the tripod and I think that it is really, really great and I keep Comparing it to uh, uh, to the Joey tripods that I had in the past, which they tend to be flimsy uh, after a while, this thing is just really sturdy and it stays really well in place. As you can see, easy to take it out of your camera. Overall, amazing quality for its price. Would I recommend this tripod? Absolutely, for its price, I think it is a no-brainer and it got me thinking about 
the Yobi tripods that I, I have. Why are they so expensive compared to this? And I think that this might be my preferred tripod on the go. Where do you buy this tripod? I will provide a link on the description down below. I hope that this video was informative enough for you and help you to decide if this is the right driver for you. I see you on the next time on Please Unbox Tech.